All right, and this is Community Day. Another Community Day, and here we are at Wright Park. So let's see what we can do. As always, there are a lot of people here at Wright Park on Community Day. And uh, so far, not a whole lot. Um, I did catch one or two decent beldum. Um, I did get one shiny, but as usually happens, a lot of the shiny Pokemon they don't have the best stats. Um, this one's pretty low tier, but hey, I'm going to keep it anyway because, well, it's shiny. Let's see. Wright Park is also a Growlithe nest at this point. I'm only really interested in Growlithe if I can find um, its shiny version. As you can see, they're just popping out of nowhere right now. Another regular Growlithe. Huh? Yeah. Nothing interesting there. And a regular Beldum. Well, off to a fantastic start already. Let's see what we can find over here. Oh, the Beldum broke free. Well, let's go ahead and step it up to an Ultra Ball, or a Great Ball, rather. see we have here Hello. so it's pretty decent high quality defense but um yeah um I'll probably go ahead and get, like let him go bye Beldum good boy another regular one 617 CP though so I mean he might be a little bit more worth keeping I definitely want to try and keep some of the high level ones because they'll be a uh, good trade even just for another Beldum um, to try and see if we can improve their IVs. Um, it's not a great system, but I mean, hey, sometimes it works. Um, I was able to take a mid to moderate level Kangaskhan all the way up to a top tier Tangus, uh, Kangaskhan just by trading it. So let's see what he's at. Again, pretty decent defense. So the same as the last one, but honestly a much higher level. We'll go ahead and keep him for now. I'd like to get at least one shiny Beldum. So do you need to play Smash? Ever? Smash? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I play it occasionally, but when I'm writing lyrics, that most people fall into, you know, some general archetypes. But I fall between two of the archetypes. Okay. You know, the really competitive guy, and also the really chill guy who just likes to play for fun. <laughs> well, that's, 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 that's low that's level, low stats, is, not interested like, at all. I'll be competitive, I'll be really competitive and get Oh, well, with every community like today, here we have Catch 3 Beldum as a special <laughs> research for that day. Let's yeah, see if... Two of my stocks, and I was like, no, you are not going to want to I will not allow it. Oh, nice. Yeah. I got one, but its stats aren't that great. Go figure. <laughs> At least you got the shiny. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this isn't my phone, so that's uh, not Again, not very good. Let's see. Oh, all these Growlithe. I just... I don't really want to let him go. Right now. I know it's a Growlithe nest right now. That means a uh, dual chance for a shiny Growlithe if you don't have one yet. Let's turn the AR camera on. I just found something interesting here. Here we have the staff of OMFG, Outstanding Meals for Gamers. And they're set up at Wright Park right now. With <laughs> Beldum Burgers. Um, well, we need to actually start yeah. getting things together. And yeah. Out, so. I've already sent a couple people over here because they look really good. You know, we'll see what the turnout is. I know it's been a couple of months that OMFG has been out here that we had a really good turnout. Yeah. So hopefully that'll be the same as this month. 
So, let's get back to catching this Growlithe. Uh, let's say the AR plus on, this doesn't really work, so. Wow. There we go, at least I hit him. Oh no, it got away. Oh well. Hey, let's go ahead and turn on the AR plus. Because that was fun to play around with before. I'd love to get some maybe dynamic shots if I could of some other Pokemon. And maybe even some shots of Shiny Beldum. Bit of a foggy, misty morning out here in Wright Park this month. We are getting into the fall season. So, what that means in uh, the state of Washington is a lot of fog, then a lot of rain, till around about, mm, I want to say April. Around about April, we stop seeing a lot of rain and it starts to warm up a little bit. Then California jumps into fire season and it's smoky the rest of the summer. Bye, Beldum. Oh, let's see here. Cool. And, oh, hey, it's a Starly. What's going on, man? Oh, yeah, I, I saw one, just this Starly just now. That's the only uh, Gen 4 I've seen so far. Um, if you look closely at your thing, you'll see that two bones are, like, connected, like, as a, as a cross sign. And oh, like, neat. <laughs> That's a brand new type. Yeah, no kidding. Really? Double Beldum. Almost like a Magneton with Beldum. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds crazy. I, gotta love, I gotta love me. I'm posting that. Oh, yeah. Well, if you look at Magnezone, too, it kind of looks like a Matang. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this Starly looks. Not a great Starly. But I've already got a good Starly that I'm already, work I have, of evolving. I have three now, so it's like. Nice. Uh, let's see. Another we'll Beldum. This Skarmory is crazy. Is it a Skarmory? No, this. I said. Oh, Starly? No. Actually, I should go for that now. And I'm already done. Nice. And it broke out. Wow. It ran away. The Belvin did? No, that Starly did. Ah. Oh. Well, 100 CP. It's so cute, but uh, it's got one of these. Let's see here. So, took no good look on the shinies with this one. I don't worry about the CP on that one. Last one, let's see. Nope. Alright. So let's go to this area. We'll go ahead and turn the AR Plus on. See if we can play with that a little bit. So I think this is really cool. It's a really nice feature. I'm glad to see it finally on the Android. I'm using a uh, S9 Plus. No idea what other Android it might work on. See a lot of people out today repping their geek pride. You see people 
sometimes dressed up as Pokemon. See people with their uh, Attack on Titan hoodies. It's all really cool. Let's see, one settings. I'll turn the AR plus. And let's see what we can do. Here we go. It's a regular Beldum. Let's get a little closer. I see that alert fills up. The closer you get to the Pokemon, and the game like can track, I don't know, stuff about like uh, your footsteps. I see that I can actually see the Pokemon from different. Uh oh. Oh no. Come back, Beldum. There we go. Whew. Let's try and get him. Nope. All right, let's get a little closer. I want to get that expert handling. I want to get that expert handling icon to pop up because that makes him easier to catch. There we go, expert handler. Uh oh, there we go. Did we get him? We got him. Let's see, how about this one? That was a regular Beldum. <laughs> oh boy. No! That is a danger with using the AR Plus feature. They can just flat out run. Well, I don't really want to make that mistake again. It could be a shiny next time. I'm literally dying because I mean, you know, that since I'm since I'm in a, like a lot of Discord servers, uh -huh. um, there is like, and since I'm on Twitch a lot. You know what that is, right? Yeah, I know what Twitch is. Okay, so, I mean, I don't need, even if you don't know, even if you don't have it on your phone, you can still participate in this challenge. Okay. So, what we're doing is, we're trying to, what, um, so there's four streamers, so there's like four, um, four streamers that are from the Pokemon content creators, um, working together, and also with the community as well, trying to raise up 600 shinies by the end of today. 600 Chinese. Yeah. Last, um, the last time we broke 350. The last okay. time we broke 200. All right. And then we broke 150 the first time. All right. So, um, what happens when you reach the goal? Um, barely nothing happens. We barely can just like, if we keep continuing, you, there, um, we keep continuing, you get to, there is, basically what the dad means is, the goal next by the time the uh, the next school happens, because um, there's a certain streamer that I may know. Mm -hmm. um, he will basically do another a marathon goal within the, within next week. Okay. So if you tag right now, it is right now. It's my uh, the stream that I'm on is Kyle zero two one S I I. So if you tag him on Twitter. Okay. Um, be sure to let him know what what he caught and you found, because he said the because what everything is caught. What, at the, the rules are explained it out. Um, go. Let's see. Pokemon Go, and then there's the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games, and then there's uh, also you know you also heard of wormholes, right? I don't know wormholes now. No. no uh, Pokemon. Um, like the Ultra, like the Pokemon games and all that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's that too, and then there's like SOS counters, there's um, legends, ultra beasts, and all that. Everything's worth every point, so everything's worth one, two, and three points. Okay. Seems interesting, right? Yeah. I'm gonna check that out later. Yeah. Go ahead and north. Search up um chocolate hearing. Okay. Sounds pretty neat. We'll do that later. All right.
Oh, that's actually a decent level to Morris, too. Let's see. Strong. We'll keep him around. Yeah, I just caught that. You guys both over level 30? Yeah. Yeah, he's, um... Probably probably in the 70s range, I want to say. 70s, 80s. Oh, hey, another shiny Beldum. Awesome. Do my second one today. Let's see. Room for improvement. Yeah. Oh, well. What's going on, guys? Here at the bridge in Wright Park is probably the best place. So many people gather over here. There's probably three or four stops almost within arm's reach of each other. Plus, just a really nice view. Let's grab something real quick. You guys, the view of the bridge. Well, yeah, I've gotten two so far. Nice, I got none so far. Oh. I've caught everyone I've seen. So. Oh, here we go. Wingull appeared. Unfortunately, I'm not in an area where AR Plus can really be used. I'm going to turn that off. And that'll be it right now for my excursion into Pokemon Go Community Day for Beldum here at Wright Park. I'll be sure to let people know if something else interesting happens.